steps to do a, a normal backhand. The first is the pivot and shoulder turn. The second is the uh, time where you take the racket all the way back. The third is swinging to contact. And the fourth is uh, uh, the first step for a proper twist backhand is the pivot and shoulder turn. So after you get ready, the knees bent, and you move side to side, okay, what you do is you pivot and do the shoulder turn, okay? So what you do is keep your left leg stable, like on the ground, okay, and you turn the right leg, go like this. Okay, this, what you have to do, this is the most basic step which I just use for a backhand and a forehand. So what you do is you, after this, this is actually beginning the second step, we'll talk about that later. So what happens is that this is, uh, Allow, this allows you to move to the ball, or uh, yeah, move to the ball basically. That's what it's uh, intended to do, and this allows you to give you this gives you the best position uh, to hit the ball. So what happens is you're able to cross the net much uh, easier way. So if you're standing face to face with the wall as you start off, mm. okay, we don't want you to hit the ball in a very awkward manner, like go down and then do this. Okay, it might go to cross, or you might you don't want to hit like this. Okay, which is not like a good backhand after the pivot and shoulder step so the second step is when uh, after you do the first step you bring the racket all the way back okay the bringing the racket all the way back is the second step itself so what do you do to bring the racket back uh, is basically when you just after you turn you just you hold your hand hold it hold the racket in both hands okay and you bend your elbows okay what happens is that the racket comes behind your head this is where, this is where you want the racket to be uh, for the second step so this allows you to generate the power you need when you hit, uh, hit the ball. So you don't want to start off hitting the ball somewhere over here. You want to start off hitting the ball all the way here. You pull it back and you can come and swing it at hard. A few examples of the pivot and shoulder turn while bringing the racket back would be would be this one from uh, Federer where he pulls the racket back while pivoting. So there should be a simultaneous action like shown right now. This is one from Nadal where he's pivoting and simultaneously moving like bringing the racket all the way back and this one from Murray where he's stepping forward pivoting doing the shoulder turn and bringing the racket all the way back third when you swing to contact so after you do the first step pivot and shoulder turn second step bringing the racket all the way back third step swing the racket out to contact so for the third step first lower the racket head down okay lower it down as you do that you swing forward Okay, so what happens is when you do this, you want it, the racket straight parallel to the ground like this, you don't want it tilted. So it's, it's okay if it's angled up or down. So what happens is you start here, you bring it down, then swing it, and then you hit it. Okay, so what you want to do this is, what you want to do is uh, hit the racket, hit, no, hit the ball with the racket like you're slapping someone's face. Okay, so you slap the face and bring it to the head, like to the shoulder. So when you do that, uh, you can also take up an airplane taking off. Where so after you bring the racket lower, you just bring it straight and then you raise it up. That's how you do the third step. So the fourth step is bring the racket all the way to the shoulder after you hit the ball. So so let's do the first step, which is pivot and shoulder turn. Allows you to get ready and move back and forward. Okay, you do the second step, bring it to the shoulder. Okay, all the way back behind the head. And you come down for the third step. Okay, and you swing and you hit it. Okay, after you hit it, you don't want to end it like that. Okay, that's not a good thing. You have to end it all the way to your shoulder. So this allows you to give you accuracy and also uh, actually helps you get the best out of your tennis backhand. So after when you do this, you can also uh, get back, recover after you, hit, after, you, like, after you hit it. Okay, you can get back and recover for a backhand or forehand after this. Okay, so that's the benefit of doing a, the, the fourth step. Okay, but if you don't do the fourth step, you might cut it short and it might just fall down and hit the net. Okay, it, it, it might restrict the power you use when you hit the net. A few good examples of swinging on contact and following through for a backhand would be this one from Federer where he swings onto contact slowly and smashes the ball with his one hand with backhand. Another would be from Nadal where he swings to contact, raises the racket and hits the ball. Then this one from Ray, where he blows a racket and then swings to hit the ball. And now for the summary. So there are four steps in order to do a basic backhand. 
The first step would be the pivot and shoulder turn, bringing the racket back completely, swinging to contact and following through. So for the pivot and shoulder turn. The pivot and shoulder turn is the first thing that all tennis players should do when hitting it with a two-handle backhand as it allows the player an opportunity to move to the ball easily. This step also starts a second step which is the racket take back when he's turned sideways. Bringing the racket back completely. After the pivot and shoulder turn, you need to take the racket all the way back and turn your shoulders sideways and pull the racket behind your head. This is the second step. So this is the part where you swing to contact. The next step when hitting a backhand is swing the racket onto contact. We should also move to the ball, rotate the shoulder back when facing the net, lowering the racket down and swinging forward. The follow through. The next step in our backhand is following through. We should do this by hitting the ball and then bringing the racket across our shoulders. Thank you.